So how big are the savings? Pretty small. For the average homeowner whose home is worth about $155,000, they will only be saving about $30 this year. The victim was already involved in a minor accident. But when she got out of the car to see if everything was okay, that's when investigators say she was struck and killed by the two hit and run drivers. One possible explanation for the high cost of the DNA testing could lie in the thickness of this envelope and the amount of evidence that could be present during just one case of reported sexual assault. This little guy's blood could save your life. Alligator blood is being used to treat diseases that are resistant to known antibiotics. Orange County deputies are standing guard at this home waiting for a man suspected of domestic violence with strangulation. Even though the original memorial is gone, what Alex's friends and family have written here prove that his memory will live on. When he went to bed at night, it wasn't by lullaby, it was all by bass and stuff like that. Yeah. Jerry Smith spoke to Eyewitness News that. after hearing that his son died after being stabbed at Tear Nightclub last night. His son, Jerry Smith Jr., was known to his fans as DJ Disco JR. But he enjoyed the music, so he had a heart for it. Police say the DJ was attacked by 35-year-old Gavin Brown. By the time police arrived on scene, the bouncers were carrying DJ Disco JR outside the club, and that's when they discovered he had been stabbed in the abdomen. When Tier Nightclub refused to speak with us, we went to the Orlando Police Department and pulled this record of service calls. This shows us that 21 incidents of battery have occurred in the past year, and six in just this past month. Yo. Disco JR's work is admired and remembered by all his fans, who have been posting on social media sites offering their sympathies. His father, who inspired the DJ's love for music, had this to say to people who are resorting to violence. To the people that's out there, you know, they lead to turn around and just learn how to live together. DJ Disco JR is survived by his family and five children. Emily Braun, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. The museum board is to formally approve the plan. The project will require some private fundraising first. If that statue stands, represents the Confederacy as what was right, then I would argue that this commission continues to uphold a legacy of treason. We have to do with racism, white supremacy. Everyone's the same. Everyone's treated the same. That's what the laws are for. Come on, it's a statue. This is a debate that began in June and lasted up until last night, when a final decision was made to move the now controversial statue. The decision over what to do with the statue was made based on reasoning very similar to this. It's important to remember what our history was being a part of the South and the United States and uh, in having that happen to Gainesville, but uh, it doesn't seem appropriate to have that right here in our main square, right next to the government building. But the movement is not over. A considerable amount of money is needed to put the decision into action. Money that will come entirely from the private sector. This sign for the museum is scheduled to be moved to this orange construction area back here, and this move alone will cost $10,000. So it's likely that the move for the statue is going to cost even more than that. The museum board needs to accept the monument first which could take some time, considering that the project to move the front sign is already in the works. If the board does approve the statue, museum officials already have a vision for it. So the monument would go in with some interpretive signage and perhaps if there were funding, um, maybe even an additional monument uh, so that it would tell a fuller picture of local Civil War history. But cost will be a factor in all of that. Alachua County Commissioner Hutch Hutchinson said since the statue itself was funded by private donors, it should be moved by private donors as well. He said the approximate cost to get the statue from point A to point B will be $15,000. The question now is whether the impassioned residents who advocated for the move to happen will be prepared to continue to fight for it with a checkbook in hand. WUFT's Emily Braun joins us with more. The pods have been offered in brands as popular as Tide, which has added extra safety catches to its containers. But exposures are on pace to reach 10,000 again this year or possibly set a new record. In recent years, at least 40% of cases required medical treatment. Many involved eye damage or serious complications, and there have been at least two deaths. This is a familiar sound for parents trying to keep their children out of trouble. A small child can have quite a knack for grabbing things you would never guess. And the swirly, squishy, colorful nature of these pods can easily spark a child's interest. I think the, the big message is if it looks like candy and it looks like 
fun and it's bright colors and soft and squishy, it, it would it would be a natural attractant. Adults know this is something that belongs either in the laundry machine or in the dishwasher. But to a small kid, it looks like something that belongs in their mouth. When children put them in their mouth, it's very hard for them to avoid ingesting it. A new parent specialist explained why laundry and dishwasher pods are so dangerous once they touch a child's tongue. Because these dishwasher pods have a plastic coating on them that melts in water, um, they also dissolve in a baby's mouth. Um, the detergent can be very caustic to the baby and it's a, it's a, substa a substantial amount. Friedman also said parents should have the poison control number easily accessible if a child finds a shiny new snack in order to avoid a picture like this. Europe has tried to make liquid pods safer by requiring the wrapper to dissolve more slowly and requiring manufacturers to add an agent to make the taste extremely bitter. Consumer Reports feels the U.S. versions are just not worth the risk. The group says caution is also needed with laundry and dishwasher pods that are a compact powder, but it will need to continue to recommend those because injuries have been fewer and less severe. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Braun, WUFT News.